Uh, yeah, uh, definitely there's been classical studies showing increased consumption of red meat to be associated with cancers of the colon, colorectum. And it's generally believed that... Uh, yeah, charring of meat uh, is done by uh, in certain forms of cooking where it, uh, it brings in a high amount of nitrites and nitrates and uh, ca carbon-related carcinogenesis. That is uh, very true. Uh, it could also be because of the high amount of fat that red meat has mm -hmm. and uh, uh, it is known that uh, uh, it, it stimulates uh, excessive proliferation in the, in the, in the large intestine. Uh, having said that, we now have to be concerned about vegetables oh, yeah. because vegetables are, are loaded with, with pesticides and uh, it, it is actually very uh, disheartening to see that the levels are much, much, much more than uh, environmental cancers were until now ignored because we thought that the minute amounts of pesticides would be washed away either during cooking or uh, taken care of by the body. But now we are talking about milligram levels which the body cannot uh, uh, detoxify. So there is a serious concern for vegetarians as well. So we don't know what to eat now. the fresher the vegetables are, the more chances that they are loaded with pesticides. Well, well uh, uh, as part of it, our institute has a, a vegetable, organic vegetable oh, garden on, on, on top of our building uh -huh. and we try to use as much of that for the cafeteria as possible. It's not always possible, so but care of the students do, or? we have a, a four or five scientists who use it as a stress buster from oh, work okay. and a number of uh, students and support staff. Uh, we produce our own uh, uh, spinach, we produce our own uh, uh, chilies and uh, the, these are things which by the way in the market contain a very high, high amount of uh, uh, fertilizer. So uh, organic farming is great but uh, of course it has its, uh, uh, it's not possible for everyone.